Hello, I'm Erica DeFreitas, and I'm a conceptual visual artist based in Scarborough, Ontario. I'm able to create in spaces where I feel most comfortable, and so my studio is in my home, and I have been creating the most recent body of work from this space here, my bedroom. I love to collect things, and this is a, a very small collection of Virgin Marys that I've accumulated over the past few years. So something I noticed is that I started to have a really hard time falling asleep. And eventually a strategy that I started to utilize was I started to recite the Hail Mary prayer over and over and over again until I fell asleep. As someone who doesn't identify as religious, my relationship to the Virgin Mary is one that I've been quite interested in. It's a interest and a relationship with her that I don't feel the need to necessarily explain. And a lot of that comes down to the fact that I really can't explain it other than she makes me feel grounded. And that's what I needed to lean on in that moment. I realized that I actually wanted to see what this looked like. And so I decided to, to sit at my desk and to type out the re recitation of the prayer. What I started to realize is that in this visual and the recitation of this prayer was a strong reflection on ritual, on hope, on repetition, and on dailiness. What you'll notice is that each meditation exists on its own page and they're dated. Each page has a different, a different look. And that's because uh, this process is entirely intuitive based. There is no plan other than to recite the Hail Mary and to type it until I've gotten to the point where I feel like my mind is at rest and I'll be able to get a night's sleep. The past few months have been very challenging for me. I lost a family member in late April and then the constant, constant, and this is like pre-COVID-19 loss of life from the Black community. It, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. And it spreads so deep and so wide. And Yes, the personal has impacted this body of work that I'm creating. But the communal sense of loss has also impacted my sleepless nights. And the sense of the specter of death always hovering. And this anxiety of uncertainty.